All right, today we're back and we're going to be doing an unboxing of the it's a 5 outlet power strip from uh, Harbor Freight. It's a US General and it's magnetic so it's made to stick like on the side of your toolbox. I love my shop, but I do have a lack of outlets. So, I'd kind of like to have this on my uh on my bench. So I can plug all my stuff in instead of running a cord everywhere. So we're going to get this open and pretty much see what all's in it. Uh, basically just going to be this, but we'll check it out. Alright, it says on it, it's got two USB ports, and they're supposed to be rapid charging. Uh, you got the, the super powerful magnets on it, the non-marring magnets, and a built-in cord wrap. The cord is supposed to be about 8 foot long. So that's pretty much it. It is uh it's a very heavy duty cord which is which is really nice. Um and it's got the cord wrap. You got your magnets here. Uh it almost feels like there's rubber on them so it doesn't uh so it doesn't mar the finish of your toolbox. And it's also got your regular mounting options. If you were to screw it to the wall or whatever you pretty much feel like doing to it. So, I figured we will plug it in. Alright, so we got the unit plugged in. So, we will turn the breaker on. And for people that are not quite sure, this red dot here is, uh, it lets you know that it's, that your, whatever you have your power strip plugged into is uh, properly grounded. So, it doesn't explain that anywhere. I ended up finding that online. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside. I'm going to mount it on the toolbox and then give my uh, best opinion on how well the magnets will stay. And kind of an example on how I will be using it. Alright, we're out to the shop now. And since... The cord comes out of this side. I'm going to be mounting it this way, just like normal, and just hooks on like that. I just don't have enough outlets in the shop, and I'd kind of like to have it where I can just plug my bench in, and everything else is, uh, red. I'll probably have, uh, my bench grinder plugged in. I will have the ultrasonic cleaner plugged in, and then whatever else I choose to plug into it now it's on there good the magnets are actually more impressive than i figured they would be so i figure it matches the bench pretty good and also if i got the paper towel holder here if you guys have a use for one of these on your toolbox and your and your by harbor freight pick up one of these these are very nice and they have pretty much every color there. Uh, I go through a ton of paper towels. So I pretty much needed that. And then on this side I have the, the glove dispenser thing. Um, I normally don't use gloves in my shop. I do for chainsaws just because uh, they're filthy. But everything everything's using these magnets to hold them on. So you don't have to use mounting screws or anything. And everything stays put. Uh, the paper towel dispenser stays put so far. I mean, this is... That's on there. And this is not going anywhere either. So, it's kind of slow in the shop for now. Uh, after that big snowfall we had like a week and a half ago, uh, I got quite a few snowblowers coming in. So... I'm still waiting on one. The guy says there's a hole in his carb. 
So I have no idea. I'm kind of eager to check it out and see what he means by a hole in his carb. So the heater's been working very, very nice in here. Uh, this year I'd kind of like to get the insulation for the garage door and everything just to help it hold its heat a little bit better. Once the heater's running, it's really nice in here, but it doesn't stay warm for a real long time. So it's snowing out there now. It is probably, uh, probably about 17 degrees. It's a little on the chilly side, but hopefully we get enough snow because I want to try this out. I've been real eager to do it and haven't had the chance to. I'd kind of like to, before it gets nice out, go through the inventory, see all what I need. So, and that's about it. Nothing, nothing real crazy going on in the shop. Got a bunch of weed eaters upstairs that I'm gonna get ready for when it gets nice out. We got two mowers here. This one I scored for free, and I have to. It starts, it runs, runs real well, but the cord, well, the wire here for your shutoff is uh, that's busted. So you have to ground it out on purpose with a pair of pliers. So I'll end up hooking that back up, fixing it. And then uh, still got the lawn boy. It's a self-propelled cast aluminum deck. It's it's nice. Um, just needs the ignition coil, and it's right there in that bag. And that's about it. I would like to get the parts washer up and running. Um, the pump's burned out, and I'm not sure where to get a replacement pump or... A better pump for it so if anyone has any ideas on that uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment below because I've had this for a little over a year and haven't even used it once yet because of the pump so and that's about it figured we'll do a quick video it's Sunday it's cold there's nothing to do so any questions or comments uh, let me know down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe that's always awesome and have a good day.